What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? Go damn, brother! We are back at it again with another video, and I am so hyperactive right now. So many coffees. Wow! All right, so ladies and gentlemen, so I posted a video, right? Returning to WoW 2020. Is it worth it? Question mark. Exclamation point. Question mark. And the overall idea of that video was pretty much asking the community, asking you guys, if it is worth it to return to WoW. Um, but I understand like, how it could be a, a bit of a misleading kind of title, right? Because everyone was going on it thinking that I was going to tell them if it was worth it, whether or not to return to WoW. So ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be part two of my personal opinion on whether or not it is worth it to return to WoW. So uh, yeah. So ladies and gentlemen, I re to WoW, right? I played it for a month. Um, I don't have Battle, Battle for Azeroth, but by the time when I did re to the game, I was like level 100 and something, right? And I spent over one hour, right? Now trying to figure out what the hell has happened to the game because so much is different. Legit. Like all of my abilities, everything. Gone. And if it isn't gone, it's been renamed. And or, you know, you have to be a different spec or, you know, it's just like really confusing. So it took me about an hour or so to just get used to that. Um, I was streaming it as well at the same time. I was streaming it here on YouTube and thanks to you guys as well in the stream for helping me so much with everything and actually giving me advice because I was so confused. Like honestly, without you guys, I would have, it would have probably taken me like two hours to figure out what the hell I was doing. But anyways, long story short, right? I get everything good. I get everything nice and beautiful. And then, you know, I, I, like I love PvP, right? So I'm going to, I'm just like, yo, screw it, man. I'm going to jump into a battleground right now. Jump into a few battlegrounds. I legit level from, I think I was level 106 when I resub to the game i went all the way from 106 all the way to 110 and you know i was like okay well do i really want to buy battle for azeroth you know i've been playing the game like the animations everything are really weird everything is different and i don't know if i'm actually feeling it or not plus everyone all of you guys as well are telling me that battle for azeroth is just a trashy x pack as well so with that on my mind i'm like ooh, damn so you know i was checking out a bunch of videos and everything um and then I was playing here and there. Some pretty cool battlegrounds, you know. They added a bunch of new battlegrounds and all of that cool stuff. They added some new arenas as well. I was watching a few Twitch streamers and I saw some new arenas. They look pretty good. But, like, the gameplay, it just feels weird. And on top of that as well, everyone's been telling me how PvP and everything just sucks. You have to pretty much do PvE to get good gear for PvP. Um, so, like... I don't like PvE, you know, I really don't, I hate it, I despise it, and apparently that's a really big thing in the community as well, everyone's just ripping on PvE now, because like, they want to PvP, they don't want to PvE, but they're forced to PvE, so that's like, one of the main problems as well in the game, so, my honest opinion, if it's worth it or not, to return to WoW, in this current state of time, I'm gonna have to say no, honestly, no, it's not worth it, I haven't resubbed, um, well, renewed, renewed my subscription, just because I just uh, right now I don't feel like it's worth it. However, Shadowlands, the eighth expansion, which is coming out hopefully really soon, that should hopefully change everything. So 100%, I'm going to be buying that and resubbing to the game for Shadowlands, and then I'm assuming they're going to make the max level 130 and probably give you a free level 120 or whatever. So for me, honestly, what I feel is the best way to go about this is just don't resub to the game right now. Just leave it. Uh, wait for Shadowlands to you know come out and then boom throw your money at blizzard see how it goes from there because right now battle for azeroth it just seems like a piece of crap um i mean the game like the mechanics and everything so different uh the battlegrounds really weird my opinion is it's not worth it right now to resubscribe to the game i mean do what i did you know one month play for a month see how it is normally when i play wow well, um so wool is a draenor right when that first came out uh you know i was playing that everything it was okay they introduced that artifact thing what i still have no idea what the hell that is because i just haven't been paying attention um and then yeah it was like okay well it isn't that good and then like the whole garrison thing and i was like okay well this could be kind of cool but then i don't know i just lost everything like my whole passion for the game just like disappeared i resubscribed to it um because i got motivated from watching twitch streamers uh they were playing it when i went onto twitch i saw them playing wow i was like all right let me check it out i tried it and i was like okay uh i mean the game's okay you know it's like not something that i would play competitively anymore as of right now in this current state it would be a game that i would just play because i'm trying to kill 30 minutes or an hour you know i'll just do a few battlegrounds and then log out i don't know it's a really weird one how the game is right now 
So I'm hoping Shadowlands is going to change that and I can just be a greasy nerd and play it like 10 hours a day. That would be the dream because I do really miss that. While Classic, um, you know, I, I don't even want to get into that. Honestly, that game's just annoying me. <laughs> it's not the same. It's really not the same as vanilla, you know. Uh, Burning Crusade, though, that would be dope if they do bring out Burning Crusade just because of arenas. That would be the only reason why I would actually play the game, just for arenas. I don't care about anything. I don't care about World PvP. I don't care about PvE. I just want arenas. That's the only thing that I want. I love arenas. Battlegrounds here and there, they're pretty fun. But I don't know, in my opinion right now, Title of this video, no longer misleading, right? Is it worth it to return to WoW right now in 2020? Honestly, no. Unless you like PvE. If you like PvE, go for it, you know? I just don't like it. I hate the whole point of... Like, because if you think about it, right? The game is, is kind of depressing, right? Because you will... Like, Blizzard will script the boss, whatever. You will go. You will learn the mechanics of that boss. You will defeat it. You will get new items. Blizzard, they will script another boss. You will go. Learn the mechanics of how to beat that boss. You will kill that boss. You get new items. Those items replace your current items. And it's just, it keeps going on. With PvP though, it's like you get new abilities, you get new spells, all of this stuff. And then you have to actually think and like the mechanics and everything. You have to outplay your opponent. Whereas when it comes to PvE, it's just like, you just learn the mechanics of how it's scripted, what it does. And then, yeah, don't stand in the fire and there you go. <laughs> I don't know, like the game is really weird. And for me, I'm just going to be waiting for Shadowlands. And I feel like everyone's just going to be waiting for Shadowlands at this point. Um, I, I, I'm pretty sure like 90% of the community is going to agree. Returning to WoW for Battle of Azeroth is just not worth it. You might as well just wait for Shadowlands. And I watched the trailer for Shadowlands. It looks okay. Hopefully it's more PvP based. I haven't read too much in details for it. But, you know, whenever an expansion comes out, that's when everyone resubscribes. And then, you know, a month later, everyone just like leaves or so. We've been seeing that since World of Zedrono. But we'll just see how it goes, honestly. Mr. Pandaria, like, I assumed Mr. Pandaria was going to be a crappy expansion. But this is like how I can kind of tell you whether or not it's going to be worth it, right? So when Mr. Pandaria came out, um, it, actually before that, you know, I was like, oh, this is going to be terrible, man. Why are you adding pandas to the game? This is going to be trash, you know? I like cataclysm, uh, cataclysm. Although then it was all about, like, legendary weapons and that. Like, especially for a rogue, you know? You had to go get legendary daggers, which is PvE crap, and then all of this. But, you know, I didn't mind cataclysm. I really liked it, you know? It, it was dope. And then, like, the whole panda thing, it was like, oh, this is going to be garbage, yo. I don't want that. But then I played Mr. Pandaria, and I was like, yo, this is actually really addictive. I actually really like this. But when I've played every other expansion beyond Mr. Pandaria, it's just been like, oh, this is kind of boring, man. I'm not feeling it. I don't know. Maybe that's just me personally. But Wall of the Draenor came out. I played it. It was like, okay. It was like a 50-50 kind of thing. But then I just lost my interest. And then, you know, Battle for Azeroth. Haven't even bought that. What else was there? Wall of the Draenor. No. What was it? I don't even know. I actually get confused in terms of the uh, expansions these days just because I haven't been paying attention like I don't know what it is ever since Mr. Pandaria ended on 548 or whatever patch it was I've just I felt disconnected from the game so I'm hoping Shadowlands is going to bring that back you know I say this every single expansion I'm pretty sure I said it for battle actually no I didn't say it for battle for Azeroth I didn't even know that existed until someone told me about it but I'm hoping that it's going to bring it back but yeah ladies and gentlemen I don't want to drag this video out too long uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Is it worth it to return to WoW in this current day and age as of right now? Or is it better to wait for Shadowlands? In my humble opinion, I'm going to say it's better to just wait at this point. But, you know, let me know in the comments below. Give me your, uh, give me your two Bitcoins and tell me. Are you enjoying Battle for Azeroth or have you just unsubbed from the game? Or are you going to give it a go, you know? Let me know, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologize for misleading with that title. I didn't mean to. That wasn't my intention. I was asking you guys for an opinion. But now I figured I'll give my opinion across to the community and we'll see how that one goes. And uh, yeah, shout out to everyone in the comments who, uh, you know, <laughs> was like, yo, I just watched this video for no reason. You didn't tell me anything. So yeah, I do apologize for that. But yeah, I was actually asking you guys. But yeah, now this video, I'm letting everyone know my opinion. Honestly, it's a no. But we'll see how it goes. Ladies and gentlemen, I love every single one of you. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.
do it.